I, we started four months ago, around four or five months ago, and uh, I've been using most of the platforms that are available now, uh, that are CMARS approved and approved in my country. And the reason why I decided was because I, I was kind of intrigued because of the optical principles that how the, the, the IOL is, is built. And then I had received positive feedback from some colleagues that have been using it mainly. It's around 30 plus, 40 IOLs, 40, 40 patients, 80, 80 lenses. We, we have been using BBT, Isopure, iHands, and mainly and, and Comfort. That you can consider it in the same in the same family. The Comfort that now it has been renamed uh, with the with Teleon company and all that stuff. But it's mainly an asymmetric optics, uh, and and I think results are very promising. I like it a lot, and of course every eye will has pros and cons. Uh, but now, till now, I'm, I'm receiving very good feedback, and I would love to to move forward with a deeper analysis to really understand where are the differences between all these optical approaches. Because reality is that they all kind of improve a lot the functional vision of intermediate. Some of them, and, and, and this is my sense, uh, considering the EMB has a better and near performance than others. And I think it's, it's going to be very tricky how to differentiate them in, in very specific items in terms of night vision and stuff. And we have to be very, very uh, serious, serious in how we can compare them. But I, I, I think EMB is really performing very, very well. There are multiple, multiple things that we consider to finally become like a flagship EDOF uh, or, or an IOL. So for example, we consider, of course, uh, something extremely, extremely important that is material. We, like, uh, we, like, we kind of like when we have the option to have a material that doesn't reflect because if we are using this in younger people, and many times women come and say, look, uh, my eyes are brightening, and since this is hydrophilic, but we like hydrophilic, but of course, uh, in an hydrophilic that we can trust. So this is where in, at some point the, the ENB has in a way a position very positively between us because for the first time we have an, a, an hydrophilic where we can, we can rely on. Uh, we didn't have that experience with the material of the comfort, for example, uh, that we, we all know the story. Uh, despite comfort hasn't suffered like it happened with the other platform, but still is from the same family. So we kind of uh, have uh, the, that doesn't trust as, as, as this material. First material, then platform. The platform, we like it. I think it's a very good platform. And second and third, we, we like understanding the optics and and how is it working? And, and, and of course, uh, price quality has to be important and it's in a very competitive price. So till now, we is very well positioned among our, uh, if not first, uh, among, among the first picks. We use a lot of trifocal IOLs and, and we are mainly doing trifocals where patients have all the, the the characteristics that we are looking for uh, in patients that have good tear film, good macula, that they, they, they have at some point anything decreasing quality of vision, let's say it's very small cataract, or if it doesn't have any cataract, at least to have a, a, an important defocus. We don't do trifocals in emetropes, uh, neither we don't do it in monocular eyes. So it's like we, we kind of leave the trifocal for perfect situations. It's a, it's a premium eye well for premium eyes. That's the way I like to put it. And we kind of use the, the EMB for, as a four-wheel drive. That's how I put it to my patients. It's, 
this uh, this is the car that whatever happens in the road, in the road, if there is a hole, whatever, we are going to be able to surpass it and to be successful getting to the other to the to the destination that we are. Let's say dry eye in the future, you start taking the the antidepressives. Let's say any medication that drives your eyes, you start having uh, less. Um, quality on your macula, deterioration in your macula, whatever happens, this is not an eye well that is going to condition, that add more decreased quality of vision. It's going to perform as, as a monofocal eye well. And, and I'm sorry if I'm, I cannot be very specific because reality is that EMB reacts amazing. They are very, very happy. They, they are very surprised because it's, 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 kind, it's, it's interesting because uh, we are under promising and, and over delivering truly because we tell them that they are all going to use glasses after the surgery. Uh, and reality is that most of them are not using glasses at all. So this is the nice, the nice thing. Um, and, and it's a very positive reaction. It's a reaction I can first day they, they do have a wow effect that is something that we are not used to in this uh, family of lenses. Of course, some strategy that we are carrying on is we are leaving the first negative of the non dominant. I think that's very, very critical in order to have a better performance for near. And it's very important to finish a metro or slightly hyper up just to be safe and not leave the dominant eye myop because then if they have been used to reading good for far they, they, they feel that they have lose a little bit for far so it's kind of like the strategy that we are following first negative and first positive or emetro or first positive it's just to remain uh, despite you sacrifice a little bit of near vision but you you preserve that uh, far vision that is very critical. It's based mainly of the uh, patient's requirements, but uh, some, for example, yesterday I, I had a patient that was already using my monovision. She was using 1.5 or more of the focus with contact lenses. In those cases, I'm more aggressive. I just uh, uh, customize exactly for what the patient is using so why i'm going to be conservative in a patient that has already been used to this so the way i sell it is i i explain her that we can do an upgrade of what she's using sacrifice a little bit less for far and have smarter near functional vision without such a compromise in in, in binocularity and stereopsis so instead of instead of targeting see my first negative there i can target the second or third uh, and, and the patient is going to be much better than finishing, uh, than, than being myop 1.75. Yes, to be fair, yes. Uh, the Isopure has a similar performance, uh, very similar. Um, it's something that I would love to compare it in a very, in, in a deeper way, in a very, in a, in a very objective way. My sense is that they are, have a very similar performance, perhaps a little bit less uh, near vision, but it, it shares the, the optical strategy a little bit. And uh, I think those are the two more comparables. And perhaps the eye hands, but I, I put it in a third option. I, I think the, the isopure and yours are the ones that are, they look very, very similar.